Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is another lovely podcast for you know the channel. Just you know, going over some uh, some of the daily stuff and some minor updates here and there as we do with the podcast normally. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> Sorry for the latency of some videos. I keep saying that I want to keep doing Path of Titans and Jurassic World Evolution. I just haven't had the... I just haven't had the... I guess the time to real. Well, I technically have the time to do it. It's just, uh... <laughs> I've been doing other things, basically. I've been, you know, grinding Warframe. I want to get to the... Because I've been loving Warframe, dude. Warframe's been so much fun. Um... But I have been posting things still, as you are well aware. Um, yeah, so we have some lovely music today. Hope it's, uh, I guess, lovely. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know if I'll turn it up a bit, actually. But, uh, yeah, so I kind of did something kind of weird today, I guess. Out of the norm. Um, really. So, I, today I kinda... It, 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 it sounds so weird to say, really, but like, uh, but, you know, I, I don't normally go, like, outside, like, hardly ever, apart from, like, you know, going to work or whatever bullshit, but it's like... You know, today, you know, sun was out and everything, and I'm just like, I'm pretty much like a vampire, too, because, like, because I'm night shift, I hardly ever see the sun, pretty much, and, uh, you know, step, like, I stepped outside today, I know, it's, it's crazy, <laughs> but, no, like, I stepped outside today, and just sat out there for, like, a couple minutes, it's like, it, it's just, I guess it's just so weird. Like, when we live in a digital age now, you know, where everything's just, you know, online. Like, even for a job application or, you know, for some people paying their bills or playing games, you know, doing online research, you know, whatever it might be, you know. It, it, it's so odd to me that, like... It's so it's so weird for me to go outside and just realize just how much slower it is. And it's not necessarily a bad thing either. Like it's actually like relatively like like just stay out there for a couple minutes. You realize just how much more peaceful it really is outside of the digital world where you're not just constantly wondering about people's uploads, wondering about like what's going on in, you know around the world or. You know, it's just, it's like one of those things where you don't really think about it. You're just kind of like in the moment sort of deal. Like kind of like, like like music, for instance, even, you know, like when you're playing a game, you're not really thinking about the music, but you can kind of, if you feel that impact that the music has when it's there sort of deal, if you get what I mean. So it that's kind of how it felt like when I went outside. It's like, it's just so much calmer and so much slower. You know what I mean? And I do it every I do something like this every once in a while, like where I just go outside just to get a breather or something. Because it's like it it's so much easier to think or to clear your mind in that environment rather than like sitting in your room or something. It's so much easier for me to think of like anything. Um, just because of the calmness of it, and really the feeling of it, like the, the you know the fresh air, the sun, it's just. I guess what I'm trying to say is, it's like, it really, it it, it really does feel like for me at least, it really reduces that stress level, so much. I mean, I'm not really stressed. It's more of the fact that. Uh, I don't know. It's just, it's just nice, you know. It just, 
you get so caught up in, you know, life, whether it's like, you know, work or just, you know, doing your normal daily activities, you know, you get so caught up in all of that. And it's just, I just, I just not realize the, uh, the quality of this is, uh, let me change, oh, oh, I guess it's just, it might be because of, uh, I don't know, it might just be because it's, okay, it's, it's better now, actually. Okay, fair enough. But, anyway, as I was saying before, though, like, it's just so much, it's so much slower, though. It's so much easier to think of things and just, it's just, it's kind of, this, it's just kind of weird knowing, like, how many people are very similar to, to me in that sense, I know. Where it's like, they don't really go outside much, and it's like... But, like, the times you do, you really realize just how much... How much slower it really is, and just how much more... Peaceful or relaxing it is, despite you not really... Not really doing anything, you're just... Like, I just sat there for a couple minutes outside, it's so like... It really does give you a breather, it just really makes you... <laughs> I guess, I guess it just really makes you, uh, it really, like, it makes you really appreciate just being alive, really, if it makes sense. Um, like, honestly, it's like, it's just so good to be in that environment where you're just not going to have to worry about anything, you're just kind of just chilling. I don't know. It's just something I'm not really used to. It's so weird to think that, like, you know, of course, back then, and, you know, even today, like, some people just have to stay outside for a living, basically. But it's like, for a digital gamer like myself and a content creator now, I guess, um, it's kind of alienating, which is so weird. Because I only come out when the freaking moon's out. I'm like a wolf, in a sense. But... I do prefer the moon over the sun, but like... You know, the sun does give you that, like... I guess... More positive feeling, I guess. And it's just something, it's just something that, like... For me, I, it's just, I don't see it. It's like looking at an alien like I don't see it really at all it's it's so funny but it's just how it is you know and I don't know I guess what I'm trying to say is though like it's whenever you feel stressed just take a breather in the in that world though it, like, it really does clear your mind, it feels like. At least for me, like, it feels like my mind is completely clear of everything when I'm out there. Just, just for a couple of minutes, even, like, just for a couple of minutes, like, it just, it helps a lot, really, it does. <sighs> but, you know, apart from that, though, um... So I was talking a little bit about, you know, Jurassic World Evolution a bit. I want to try to get. I definitely want. To try, I'm definitely getting into it. It's just taking me a minute. Cause I I want to try to edit some things out. I don't have it recorded yet, but I I do want to get to it. I want to get. It, I want to make it shorter than the other ones though, because the only thing I want to cover is something I already kind of did, but I need to shorten it. Um, well, not like something I already did, but something that, you know, the island, like the part three of Jurassic World Evolution, part three, I had, like, most of the stuff already, like, good to go, like, all the buildings, uh, the fundings for the island was going great, so, you know, for the more repetitive things, like, the, uh, researching, like, the fossils and all that stuff, I want to, like, kind of skip over that a little bit, just, you know, just to make it a little bit faster for the video. Because we've pretty much done everything on that island. we got to get the next island now. So, I do want to put some time and effort into that video. 
when it does come out for part four. Uh, Path of Titans, I haven't really looked at it in a bit. We'll be getting into that. I'm sure, I promise you that, though. Like I said, there's just a lot of games I have to go over now, especially with Dragon Dogma 2 out now as well. So, which if you don't know about Dragon's Dogma 2, oh my god. Really frustrating that they don't have the new save feature. Um, I'm not actually sure what the heck happened here. Oh yeah, <laughs> I crashed. I forgot about that actually. Okay. But yeah, a lot of games to cover. I plan to do a lot more soon. Um, I'm. Tr I, I guess. I guess I'm still kind of recovering from that montage. I mean, I know it's been like three or four months now, but hot damn, that mont. I mean, we're we're close to where the montage started now. And April 1st. April 1st was when the uh, God of War series started. So it's crazy to think that that's been a year ago now. God of War series and then... <sighs> yeah, I'm still recovering from like the whole... The amount of like videos we did. Because like, like November was really really drainful. I already talked a lot about that, but to re refresher, basically, re November, we had well over 100 videos. Well over. It was like 100 and, like 10 or so videos. It was fucking nuts. I mean, yeah, it was literally nuts. Like, that, that was ridiculous. That was above and beyond for my content, for my YouTube you know, videos. I was above and beyond there. But. As it stands right now, I'm just currently, you know, trying to keep up with the, um, the algorithm and the uh, keeping my YouTube in a semi-consistent manner. Uh, every, I usually post every one or two days from each other, but I try to do better at that soon. Um, it's just really getting my mindset back into that field again. Um, and I've just been, i just been really enjoying Warframe, so I've just been kind of playing that f for a while to kind of, you know, just to have something to do when I'm not on camera, basically. I do want to do more live streams. I just, for Warframe's case, though, I don't know. Like Warframe, I love Warframe, but honestly, at least for me, it's I. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I don't know how I feel about even like really watching it. I mean, it's a fun as hell game, but it, for watching purposes, it's really just, I don't know. I don't really know if I really enjoy watching Warframe. It's, it's kind of weird because I love, I love playing the game, but I don't enjoy watching it. I don't think. I guess the main thing is why I don't is because it's just, uh, I don't know. Like, I guess it's just because it's so fast paced. Like, like if you're a new player or a new streamer or, I don't know, not streamer, viewer, and you're watching this shit, you don't know what Warframe is, like, you have no idea what the hell's going on. I mean, of course I do, but even still, it's like, you really... You really don't like watching other people's builds or games like gameplay style or whatever. I don't. I don't really know how to really explain it. It's just something different when you're actually watching it. <coughs> I don't know. But 
I might do war more uh, Warfare live streams if it's demanded. Uh, but as far as I can tell, it really hasn't really... Warframe has never really done too great on the channel, because the, the only ways you could really, like... I mean, I even watched some other Warframe content creators, and they kind of say the same thing. Like, the only way you could really be a Warframe content creator is by either being a meme or being an informative guy, which... I mean, granted, I am pretty knowledgeable at the game, but... At the same time, though, there's also just a shit ton more people that are more knowledgeable at it. Because occasionally I will ask, like, quite a bit of questions from other people, what their mindset is for what to do and what not to do sort of deals. Because I like to have, like, uh... I like getting my sources and ideas from everyone. Whether they're newer players, more veteran players, etc. You know, just to see... If, if I'm, like, just to see if, like, what I'm doing is relevant in the Warframe of today, basically. Because all my builds are a lot older back when, you know, things like Hunter Adrenaline and uh, Rage were a thing that people would pick up. Like, you know, being able to take damage and get energy sort of deal. Like, that was meta back then. Now it's, like... Now it's like to get energy. It's like arcane energize, uh, the operator ability. I mean, it's not the same anymore. Equilarium is another one, another mod per you know each energy or pickup. Yeah. So I don't really know if my builds are even relevant, and there's just so many other YouTube content creators for Warframe that are even better at the game than I am. Much better, in fact. Uh, to the point that, like, it makes me look like a freaking noob by comparison. So, making an informative thing is not really my style for this type of game just because I would be not good at it. And on top of that, uh... I mean, really... I mean, really, like... On top of that, though, I went I went really want to do the meme thing because like the meme videos for Warframe are really not they're not really cut for my style either, really. So that's, it's just kind of why I don't really like I don't know I feel like Warframe is kind of like not that good of a game to really for me to really invest in for a streaming thing. I could be wrong on all that, but I don't know. I do think I want to. I do think I would rather do the uh, the other games like Jurassic World Evolution, you know, Path of Titans. But yeah. Uh. But as of right now, I'm just like, I'm pretty much just chilling right now. <clears throat> but I'll be, I'll be pumping up content here soon. I just, I don't know. I just been having to really take some time to really recuperate everything. <sighs> I think, uh, the one series I really want to do. They they did say that Dragon's Dogma two Dragon's Dogma two will be getting a new play thing soon, so I might just wait for that because I really do not feel like playing the game as my mage. And I know what people are gonna say. They're gonna say, "Well, you can just you can just like change your abilities later on." And yeah, it's true, but. If it's like the first game, it has building blocks, right? Building blocks being that if you're, like, let's say, for instance, if I'm building a tank, right, I'm building a tank, if I pick fighter first, that means I get more, like, each time I level up as, each time I level up as fighter in that game, 
I would get more health. If I'm playing as a mage, I would get more mana per level up, right? So, as it stands right now, because, you know, I, I would eventually go into a, a warrior's play style, probably. Uh. And... But since I started my my build as a mage, my build's gonna be way less efficient as a warrior or a tank, you know. And I'm really picky about that stuff. I really like granted, like in the late game, it doesn't matter. But that game is I know those get like Dragon's Dawn One is a pain in the ass, even with like a good build at times. So I definitely want to. I definitely want to get like the most powerful build I can as a tank player, so that's what I'm gonna be doing for the second game. Um, and I, I think I'll just wait until the new game thing comes out because they said that that's gonna be coming out soon. So I'll probably just wait for that to come out before playing it again, because I do not feel like to have them be a mage. It's just the mage is just not my place though. The only reason I picked it was because I wanted to see every class, basically. I wanted to see, you know, mage, fighter, assassin. I kind of want to get a feel for them before I go into it. Because the first game, I prefer playing the assassin role more than anything else. Just because of the over the top, you know, moves you could do. It was crazy what you could do. But. And mages are cool as shit, too. Like, don't get me wrong. Mages and Dragon's Dama are no pushovers. Like, they're fucking amazing. They're probably... I'd say they're probably the strongest class in the fucking game. But it's just not my playstyle. There's a big difference between going for the best and going for your playstyle. It's just like Warframe. Like, if I'm playing, you know... I don't want to play fucking Saren Prime, even though she's, like, the best, you know, Warframe in the game pretty much right now. I'd rather play, like, someone like Grendel. Because he's more my playstyle. Because he's a tank. He can tank a fuck ton of damage. He can dish out a decent amount of damage. You know. I like being a more tank suited. You know. Character. So it's just. This is how I always have been. And. If I can't get that tank playstyle. It affects. It hurts my content. It, it would hurt my content. Because I'm not as motivated to play. As that said character. You know what I mean. So, that's kind of a huge description of why I really didn't want to go much further with Dragon's Alma 2 because of the mage thing. I'm sure there's a way I can, like, probably go into the delete the files, probably. I'm just not doing it right or something, but I don't know. I'm just going to wait for a start new game. Because the file thing is a pain in the ass. Because I already tried to do everything I knew how to do. They try to restart my shit, and I just couldn't. I just couldn't do it. So, um, the Halo Wars defense mission. I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing that again. The survival thing. Uh. I want to do it sometime. It's just really hard to find a day where I have like nine hours available. Because it takes you like three hours to even do that mission. To even, you know, fucking do the survival shit. It takes three hours to do it while also having to upload for like four hours. So, it's kind of a crazy... I, I probably will just live stream it to make it easier on me. But... What is it? Let's see on that. I still don't know what to do with Twitch. Um... Like I said before... Um... I just don't like sacrificing so many videos for Twitch. Because I can't, I can't highlight every video. I can't... As much as I would love to, I just can't. And I hate to think that all those hours are just being put to waste on Twitch. So. Paragon's gonna be dead soon. Par Paragon dies this coming month. April 26th, I think. Or April 22nd, I'm not really sure which one. But I 
Yep, April. April. This could be the final day for Paragon, which doesn't really make that difference to our channel because, well, we've already stopped playing it like months ago as soon as the announcement came out. So, I really am upset that Paragon's going down, dude. I really don't see a reason why they did that, but hey, whatever. There's nothing we can do about it now, though. I'm just so over the genre for Paragon now, though. Like, it's just... I don't know. Like, as much as I would love to play it, as much as I would love to stay with those characters and shit, like, I just... I don't know, dude. It just doesn't seem to stay for long. I mean, the game has died three times, and Predecessor probably the fourth time, so... I wouldn't be surprised if Predecessor dies later this year or next year. I mean, I don't see press as I'm doing that much better than Paragon. Because the numbers were roughly the same. Like, most of the numbers were about the same, really, between those two games. And... If Paragon went down, which Paragon really had no reason to go down, but maybe Predecessor will hold over, but I don't know. I tried to play Predecessor as well. Like, Predecessor, I was playing before Paragon even died, and Paragon is just so fucking, like, it's so much better than Predecessor Paragon is. Predecessor is so boring by comparison to me. And I prefer the slower pace play style. It's just the problem with that game that I have is the fact that it is so like the, the problem I have is predecessor is super slow with its farming stage, but super fast with its time to kill stage. It makes no sense. It's so inconsistent with the pace of the game. Because while it is slower for progression-wise, like leveling up and everything for Par than Paragon, it's faster for time to kill objectives and players. Like, it doesn't make any sense. So, at the same time, it, in a grand scheme of things, despite the you know farming stage of it being so much slower, it actually is, in total, fa a faster game than Paragon. Because of that short time to kill. And I already thought Paragon was so, like too fast. But people want, I mean, for those type of games though, people just want tanks to be so goddamn weak to the point that, uh, a, you know, one, one shot takes out like a tenth of their health. And people always make the argument, well, if you have the time to kill, it'd be too long. It's like, I'm not even asking it to be that long. Like, it, I think a tank and a one-on-one, -on -one, if, if a tank cannot survive against a damager for at least, like, one damager for, like, 20 to 30 seconds, it's considered, I consider it useless. Because it's a tank. It does no damage. It, sh it has no way of defending itself against that carry besides it just being tanky. So why should it die fast as fuck? Because no matter what, you're not going to win against that carry. There ain't no fucking way you're going to win. Now, in Paragon's case, you could win because Sevrog, Boris, and the Dell all hit like goddamn trains. But, you know, for a normal traditional tank, you know, you wouldn't be doing damage. So if they were just tanky, they would, and they still die in like 10 seconds. That's a problem. That is a big problem. But no one sees that because, you know, all I see is, well, I got 10 kills in this game, so that's good enough for me, bro. And they think they're better, they think they're better than everyone. Meanwhile, the only thing they're doing is point and clicking. 
It's like, son, let me tell you something. I could literally, I could literally get like 20 kills a game. Does that mean I'm good as a carry? Does that mean I'm a good player? No. I, like, I've done it many times on the channel where I've gotten, well, maybe not many, t many times, but I have done it on the channel where I've gotten so many kills as a carry. And was it because I'm good? Fuck no. No, the only reason it is is because I'm just... Now, granted, I am... I would say I'm above the average player, slightly, probably. But... Not as a carry, though. It's just carries are so good. You could easily just kill everything. Without even really trying. Like, it, it might as well be like Warframe in a sense that like, you're killing mindless drones. Like, th that's how easy it is. Because the damage you have as a carry is so ridiculously high. I always hated that about those games. Just the carry does, like, in late game, the carry does everything. Like, you literally need to carry for, uh, taking objectives, taking towers, taking, you know, the tanks down. You need them for everything. In late game, they do 90% of the work. Which is a problem when it's a team-based game. It's a team-based game and they have this one role that could do literally everything. <sighs> it's so ass. But regardless of that though. <sighs> Paragon will be dead soon. So that's unfortunate though. Had to go that way, but yep, we'll see how long predecessor lasts. I'll make it. I'll make some videos here and there about it. Uh, if predecessor does ever pop off, I'll probably go back into it. Maybe if it does get a player count above a thousand, like maybe like you know, I would say if it okay, like let's say let's give a good estimate number. If it has five to ten k players on Steam. I might go back to it. I might go back to it. Try it out. If not, I'm not going to try. Because I'm not going to waste my time doing, like, you know, 20 minute queues. And constantly just getting raided by uh, toxic players. Like, I'm just not going to deal with all that bullshit. Uh, so, yeah. I just don't really feel like doing it again, like doing it with all that shit again, unless the game's actually gonna succeed, which I severely doubt. I mean, EA, Epic Games gave it up. Uh, Net Marble, which was you know the other Paragon, the Paragon deal with Prime, they gave it up. Uh, Strange Matter Studios, which was the people that made Fault. The Elder Orb. That's pretty much done now. You know, they, they gave up their game, which was never really that good to begin with, but, you know, I digress. Yeah. It's been, uh, it's been a hell of a road for Paragon, but it's... You know, I gotta admit, though, it's probably never gonna... It's probably never gonna make it. Paragon has died three times. Will it be a fourth? Probably. And after that, I guarantee Paragon's probably never gonna come. Paragon's probably never gonna come back. The fourth after the fourth time. If it does, it would be a miracle. It really would. And I guarantee, even if it does come back, it'll probably 
be dead again. And by the fifth time around, I'm sure everyone will be completely drained of even trying to make the game a success. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure most people are already drained. Considering it's been three times already, dude. And the fourth time, after the fourth time, then we got, if it cut, does come back, like, ten years later for the fifth time, I guarantee people are not going to even bother. It's just, it's a dead franchise, or what do you want to fucking call it? I mean, re it's just a remake after a remake after a remake. I mean, it's just so annoying. Trying to make a community, I just can't make it, pretty much. Ah. Well, normally I do go past the 30 minute mark. 30 minute mark is pretty much my timer for these type of podcasts. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything else to really discuss. But yeah, I guess really the last thing I gotta say is uh, for the update side of things, just make sure to look at, check out Drastic World Evolution, Path of Titans, uh, maybe some Warframe videos. Halo Wars will be coming back for a couple more videos. And then I want to try to get Spring 2 back in a little bit in here. And yeah, we'll see what happens in the future, guys. Uh, got got plenty of games coming out. Dragon's Zama 2, once that comes a new player. Once that, once that new player patch comes in, I'll definitely be playing that. Definitely be able to restart my shit and uh, play it successfully this time. So, hell yeah. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this podcast, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. As always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.